Hi friends, it's Nathan, a second year pharmacy student studying at the University of Waterloo, but currently doing a placement in the surgery department of a hospital. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a study vlog and it's been a minute since I've done one of these. My placement doesn't require a lot of studying, but now we're gearing towards the end. It's um starting to pick up. So I have my shadow day notes that I need to review. I have a reflection to write and I also need to prepare a presentation for doctors, nurses, and pharmacists that I work with and that's going to be on a certain topic and I'll explain each of those when I do my studying. It's a busy day and uh, we're going to start by going to the gym and then we're going to head to Starbucks to get the grind going but should be a really, really productive day. I'm really excited for this because um, you guys know I love studying. I do really thrive on it and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it motivates you and let's get this day started. Hi guys, it's Nathan from the past. I want to say this video is kindly sponsored by Sansama, a daily task manager and calendar for busy students. So tomorrow we have a lot of studying planned and I want to make sure that I'm prioritizing everything. So we're going to plan together using Sinsama. I'm going to start by adding all the tasks I want completed for tomorrow's study day. This keeps me accountable and ensures that I don't forget anything important. The neat thing about Sinsama is that you can plan how much time you want to allocate to each activity. And by setting a deadline, I find myself more intentional and more productive knowing that I only have a certain amount of time to get something done. Once you complete the activity, you can go back and record how much time you actually spent. And this allows you to be very aware with how much time you're actually spending and if you were as productive as you thought. I know that I want to go to the gym in the morning, so I'm going to drag this into my calendar at 9 a.m. I have my dashboard linked up to my Google Calendar, but you can also link it to things like Asana, ClickUp, Notion, and so many other platforms. Tomorrow, as I complete my work, I will be logging them into Sama so I can see my progress, so stay tuned for those updates. If you want to improve your time management, and productivity, definitely check out Sinsama with the link below in my description box. Thank you, Sinsama, and let's continue on with the day. So for the gym today, we are going to be hitting chest, um, and I don't have a lot of time to work out because I actually need to be back by 10. I did sleep in a little bit this morning just because it's been a long week, but yeah, we are going to do some workouts and then I'll do a time lapse. So I'm back in my room and the reason why I had to leave the gym early today is because literally in a minute, a pair of Air Jordan 1s drop is the Georgetown College Navy and I want a pair. So I'm going to try to get it once it drops and uh, hopefully we get it. So this is the pair that I was trying to get, the Air Jordan 1 High 85 College Navy Georgetown. It's a really, really nice pair. So I submitted my draw for it right at 10 and uh, I'll get an email if it is approved, if it's successful. So I'll let you know throughout the day. Um, but yeah. Fingers crossed. And I, oh! Cheers. So, um, in my smoothie, my smoothie, my protein shake, because there's no fruit in it. I like to have protein powder, vanilla flavored, mass gainer, which is a meal replacement, BCAA, creatine, vitamin D drops, and athletic greens supplement. Really good way to start the morning. So I'm going to just sit here on the couch, go through my phone while I drink this, and then we're gonna head out to Starbucks. I've done my protein shake, we are gonna change out of these gym clothes, and I will see you outside when I catch my bus. <laughs> It is so nice today. It is warm. It is like a little bit cold. Uh, probably colder than what most people would be used to. It is currently three degrees. Yeah, <laughs> but the sun is out and it's not windy and there's no snow, so I can't complain. And yeah, it is very crisp and it's very um, refreshing. I, I love to use that word and everyone's always like, no, it's cold. No, it's refreshing. So before we do a study session, we need to make sure that we are well fueled. So there happens to be a Chipotle in the plaza, so that's what I'm gonna get for lunch. Guys, 
guys, it looks so good. I'm actually so excited because I haven't had Chipotle in so long. But I'll let you know what my order is. I get brown rice, black beans. I always mix chicken and steak, but I tried their new chicken this time with the steak, coarse guac, and medium and mild salsa. Okay, I don't like eat it like this. I need to mix it all up, and it becomes kind of gross and nasty after I mix it. People always judge me, but that's what I gotta do. So I'm gonna shake it up. I know, I feel like this is a crime, and we're just gonna violently shake. Imagine if this just explodes on me. Okay, it should be mixed. Um, again, it's not gonna look pretty, but it just tastes good because all the flavors are mixed. Yeah, that's what it ends up looking like. Um, bone apple tea and uh, dig in. So good. There's only two types of people in this world, and it comes down to their Chipotle order. One is do they get a bowl or a burrito, and two, do they get guac or not? Let me know what kind of person you are. So I finished eating, it was really good. And it just so happens that the Starbucks is beside an indigo. So I think I'm gonna buy a new book. I did finish my previous book, The Defining Decade. Let me know if you guys want like a book review and the, maybe talk about like the learnings and the lessons from it in a kind of a one video summary kind of thing. I thought it'd be really fun to do. And if you guys want to do let me know. It could become a series because I do try to read as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna buy a book and then we're gonna start our studying. So this is the book I'm picking up. I've heard such good things about it, so we'll see how it is. It is quite big, it's like very thick. I did not expect it to be this large, but um, I think it's gonna be a good read. And of course, uh, if you guys want those book reviews, let me know and I could review it afterwards. I've spent like $60 already today. If you guys wonder what my Starbucks order is, it is a vanilla cream cold brew and I get my sweet cream on the side and then I add it to my own liking, to my own taste just because I find I'm not adding it to the correct amount so uh, we're gonna add this together and it's gonna look so pretty so let's just bring the camera down so you can see that aesthetic milk and coffee shot. the shadow day so I'm just gonna pause this and um, type these up so I just want to review everything that I learned from these days because there's so much clinical information that I can have as a resource for my classes so let's start typing away We are finally done my psychiatry shadow day notes. It is long. It is six pages, 1,000 words. I was adding context, reviewing, and yeah, I'm super proud of it. And now that this is done, we can move on to our next to do. We're at the mid we're studying, and I thought I would treat myself to a little snack. So I have a donut apple pie. I know it's like a editor, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna hunt this while um, relax my eyes. Relax my fingers because they're just starting to cramp up, and then we will get on with our next task. So, on to the next to do, I need to write a reflection paper on an event I attended on cervical cancer. Now, 
I wish it was just kind of an attend and that was done, but you know, we need to write a reflection, talk about our learnings, how it impact us, how it impacts our future practice, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna get that done, and yeah, let's keep it going. We are going to submit this and move on. So it's pending there and then after it's reviewed by a, a faculty member, then it will be added to the point system and then I need to fill all of these up. It's part of my interprofessional experiential program. I wonder if my eyes are kind of red, but they're not. Um, I've just been sitting here for the, like, I haven't moved at all. I'm not talking to you, Trish. No. Not everything's about you. No, I thought you were like, oh my god, I feel like my eyes are so red. I thought you were like telling me. Oh, okay. No, I'm telling my viewers, oh, my sorry. audience. Okay, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, my butt hurts uh, just because I've been sitting here for, I think, almost like six hours now. But we have done two out of the four tasks. My next thing that I need to do is transcribe an interview that I did with an anesthesiologist. I need to write a paper on that as well. Um, so first thing to do is get my notes in check. So we're gonna do that. It's light, um, it's gonna be kind of a break, not too much thinking after this paper. This like, this one had so much thinking and processing that I need to do. Like, I don't know why, I think maybe it's just a little bit late and I haven't done like hardcore writing in a while. So it was just difficult to come up with thoughts, link ideas, but it's done, uh, so let's continue on. Interview transcribing is done. This ended up being five pages over a thousand words, so it was very informative. And I chose anesthesiology because both an anesthesiologist and a pharmacist work very closely with medications. There's no other physician that is so heavily involved with medication than an anesthesiologist, so that's where we have that similarity, but then how we provide care to the patient, our role in the team is very, very different, so I really wanted to compare and contrast those two. But yeah, awesome. Uh, we can close my laptop now. Checking off my completed tasks, and as you can see, psychiatry and my reflection did take a little longer than expected, but I'm glad that I did finish my interview on time. How excited are you to be finally done? <laughs> we were at this table for seven hours. I would consider today a pretty productive study session. I didn't get everything that I wanted done. Um, I got three out of the four, but it's fine because I already know what topic I'm gonna do for my presentation. And um, I was able to do just a little bit of brainstorming and kind of thinking through it. Um, but yeah, I feel like I always over plan and underperform, but that's fine, that's just me. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> After some uh, good photos that she took of me yeah. in the theater, I you think- You didn't even use them. I will, I'll post them, I'll post them. <laughs> You're not fired, you hired. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Starbucks when it was light, now it's dark. Trish, are you excited for food? I'm so Update. So, the restaurant that we were heading to, uh, Lebanese food, is fully booked. And I don't know why it didn't come across my mind, to book a res though, we're milestones and we're just gonna get like, yeah, that's which is nice though, like the food is yeah. good, but I just wanted something a little more unique. <laughs> uh, How was dinner? It was okay, actually it wasn't that good. <laughs> my, mine was good. Yours, I know, uh, yours typical pesto. My like, pesto pasta, you can't complain classic, about that, bro, it was good. Classic. Okay, we're now walking the bus. Um, to go our separate ways. Yeah. Bad. After I know, a good. Nathan's gonna miss me too much, bro. He text me every day. Uh, well, he texts me every day. Um, yeah, it was a good day, productive, um, good company. Seven hours of studying. Seven hours of studying, yeah. This city needs more reliable public transportation because I missed the bus that I was supposed to take. 
the next one comes in 20 minutes or I could take another completely different line and just get off early and walk the way and that's what I'm doing right now so it's not bad it's only 15 minute walk and it's like kind of nice it's crisp and I'm just kind of reflecting on the day and you know as my placement ends in a few weeks just kind of remembering everything that I've accomplished everything that I've done and just relish and be proud of that yeah I'm gonna play some tunes and just relax and enjoy Today has been a very long day, sitting at a coffee table for seven hours really tires out your body. So I'm just gonna go change into some PJs, get comfy, freshen up, and then we will end this vlog shortly. And that brings us to the end of the study vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. There will be one more study vlog coming up and that'll be focused on my presentation. And if you want to see more videos like this, study tips, life as a college student, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you want more day-to-day -day content or just kind of laughs, I post a lot of reels and it's funny, relatable content you guys are loving. So follow me at Nathan.Wu as well as my TikTok. It's NathanWu. But that's it for me and I'll see you friends in the next video. Bye.